the microphone on today, so let's hope this works. So, Jill asked a, a good question earlier in class about the angle at which you want to punch somebody. And why in Wing Chun, we never want to punch somebody angling up this way right here. And the reason for that is, is understanding the kinetic chain of which things work, uh, which we're trying to develop our personal understanding and overall body coordination in Wing Chun. And when you punch somebody going straight forward here, it allows you to have your body supporting that punch. And when your body is supporting it, if your legs are positioned correctly as well, then your legs are going to be supporting your body. And ultimately, it's going to be the ground that's going to be supporting that whole structure at one time. But to, to understand that kinetic chain means that you'll understand why we want to punch going forward this way. If I punch somebody going up, let's say they feel as El Gigante compared to me, and I'm down here, I never want to come in and punch going up this way. The more that this punch angles up means the more that my lower back is going to be involved. The more my lower back is going to be involved as my punch angles up means that I'm going to be breaking that kinetic chain. If you think about it, if you go like push something, right? I don't want to push something up this way right here. If I feel that weight of whatever the object is right here, where are you going to feel that strain? You're going to feel that strain probably in your lower back. Not only is that bad because you're breaking that kinetic chain, but that's also how potential injury can occur as well. So when that kinetic chain is functioning properly, you'll understand and more importantly, you'll feel that leg to body to arm support. But to feel that, to make that work, to make that function naturally, means that I have to be able to push forward with the arms going towards the object, whatever it is that I'm going to be striking or attacking. So the more I angle up this way, the more that kinetic chain is going to break down. Meaning that if I'm here, now if I punch and I hit something, now my lower back is going to be more involved. The more I, my lower back is involved, the more it breaks that kinetic chain to be able to drive forward to properly strike somebody. So that's why even if you're fighting somebody taller, I don't want to think like, oh, i got to punch this guy up here in his head. No, if I'm fighting somebody who's taller, man, I chop that person down. And as I chop that person down, yeah, then I bring their head down to my level. I never want to break my own kinetic chain just for the sake of striking that person that I have to hit them in their head. Good luck.